Hey, greeting sense it's been long coming. It's been a journey of over three decades of ministry, research and and you know studying and practically you know uh, executing this ministry on deliverance, healings and etc. And uh, finally uh, I'm excited and and really grateful for my wife for the support that she's given me <laughs> throughout this journey. It's not been easy. Uh, I when I, I left this manuscript behind, she remembered to bring them to me. She's always been a source of inspiration. And, and right now we have the trilogy. These books are intertwined. Uh, strategies for understanding spiritual warfare gives you the foundation for you to be able to deal with strongholds in, uh, that can possibly hold you back. And Paul talks about, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. He says, take on the whole armor of God. And, you know, the second one deals with the weapons of our warfare. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah. Things that are capable of limiting us, holding us back from experiencing the fullness that is in Christ Jesus. There is much more in Christ Jesus. There's a lot more that is we have not yet accessed, you know. And these books are to help you to be able to break those strongholds, whatever they may be, generational curses, you know, curses and limitations in the mind, mindsets, you know, you just need to pick a copy of it and you will be so blessed. And then the last part of this uh, trilogy is a strategic level spiritual warfare. Uh, this level of warfare involves properly understanding the weaponry that is in our armor that God has given to us in the Bible. Uh, I was taught from the beginning there are no milling these details in the Word of God. So uh, in, in strategic level spiritual warfare, you will you know learn something that is a little bit different uh, from what perhaps you know or something you know that you may have known but just will expand your knowledge. So this is really crucial for the times that we are in. We are in the end time and evil is rising in every dimension. Uh, I don't know whether you see it, so, but Paul says that in the letter that some shall depart from the faith. There is a lot of departure from the faith in, in the times and the season that we're living in. And for us to be able to fight the good fight of faith, we need to be equipped with knowledge. The Bible really says it's for the people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And it goes on to say, and he shall know the truth, knowledge of the truth. And the truth shall make you free. It is the knowledge of the truth, not the rat revelational knowledge of the truth that is capable of releasing us and setting us free. So I invite you to go to Amazon. Uh, the link is on there. You know, check it out. Maybe it's not for you, but pass it for some. Be a blessing to somebody. Be a blessing to somebody. These books are loaded. I promise you. <laughs> the other time, I you know, I said something that you know, uh, you know, if this war started in heaven, <laughs> I think that you need to be ready. Seriously, you need to be ready, and you need to be aware that we are in constant warfare. Ignorance is not an excuse. We are fighting a battle, the fight to make salvation that is in Christ Jesus a reality is the real fight. It is a fight of what can you believe God for? Check it out. I love you. I appreciate you. And I do hope you enjoy. Leave your comments with Amazon when you purchase one and go through it. God bless you and thank you.